The Logan brothers with the crowd Stop. way behind them. Is he crying? He might be crying. Tommy. It looks like he's crying to me. There's no crying in wrestling. There Tommy. should be no crying in wrestling. It looks like he was crying to me, though. Tosses him into the ropes. Nice tag there. Did you notice that the tag was made? The Logan brother waiting the five seconds. Pulls him out. Fresh Logan double, double drop, drop kick. kick. Oh, baby, you. Two count. Tommy, we're going to be right back. NWA on fire on tour in April. Thursday, April 23rd, Indian Island, Maine at the Indian Island Boys and Girls Club. On Friday, April 24th, Medway, Maine at the Medway Middle School. And on Saturday night, April 25th, Augusta, Maine at the Augusta Armory. Be there. People, you better get ready because Naughty Adriana, she's in the NWA. She's here to grace all you with her presence. Oh, we're back into the action here, folks. And baby Yui and Cactus during the break took a little bit of an advantage right now and are on the offensive. Looks like he's on the offense for sure. Side slam by Baby Yui. See, see what I mean? I mean, you can't judge a book by its cover. I mean, he does know his way around a squared circle. He's uh, He knows what he's doing in that ring. Absolutely, Tommy. Tag oh is made. In comes Cactus, the pop-pop machine. Oh, and he just popped Logan Brothers right in the ribs. He's one insane fellow. i tell you that right now. Oh, fish is oh, clothesline. Right across the throat. That had to hurt. Throws him into the baby. Tag is made. Shoulder to midsection, Tommy. Oh. I'll tell you what, they've grounded Matt Logan right here. They've got him in, they've cut the ring in half. They oh, got they him in cut the corner. That ring right in half. They're not letting him in this corner, that's for sure. Here we go. Good. This is going to be that leg lariat. Oh, right over the top. There he goes. Right over pop, the top pop. of his head. Throat over the rope. Knocked all the wind right out of him. Come on, ref. Vicious shot. Vicious. There goes Cactus. Full Nelson slam straight down. I think maybe you hurt himself on that one. Tommy, this maneuver right here, it's going to take a toll on both of you. Here we go right now. Baby Yui backs up. Oh, double butt buster, but they missed and they hit ha, each other. Ha, ha. Tag into Brian. Huge drop kick. Got both of them. Cactus up over and over the top, the top rope. Left hand, left hand, one more. Spinning Boom. discus punch. Baby still did not go down, Tommy. Drop kick takes him off his feet. He went down that time. Whips him in underneath. Leg lariat. Getting up. This kid's tough, Tommy. Say what you want to say about him, diaper or not. This guy's taking a beating and has not backed down an inch. No, he's tough, that's for sure. I agree with that. Caught him. He's reaching, but he's grabbing air. Oh, no. Wait a minute, Tommy. The diapers come off. Oh, look at this. What is he wearing, Tommy? What is that? Tommy, it looks like he borrowed some of your wardrobe. <laughs> That's not nice, Ricky O. Double clothesline by the baby. He got them both. Tags in Cactus. Where's he going? The crowd's getting into this one. Oh, 
Reverse. Reverse. Oh, Tommy. Wait a minute. Logan's going up to the top. This could be it. Aaron Logan. He faked him. Kicked it low. Oh, look at this. Tommy. He rolls him up. One, two, three. That's Tommy. it. That's it. I've never seen a misdirection play like that. That was right out of an NFL. Now look at the face on Baby you Right out of an NFL game there. Did you see that? It was a misdirection. He faked him. He turned right into the body press. One, two, three. And the Logan brothers defeat Cactus and Baby U. I tell you, I've never seen a more synchronized tag team duo in my life. These guys just know what they're doing. I mean, they're Oh, they're taunting him now. Tell him to cry, Tommy. What an insult in the middle of the ring. Not only were they pinned. You know what? It looks like he is crying. He is crying. He's been known to cry, Tommy. There's no crying in wrestling, like you said. A six-foot six foot tall, 300-pound diaper-wearing, crying baby. Is that something else? Only in the NWA, Tommy. Only in the NWA. Ripley's, believe it or not. Absolutely. Tommy, let me tell you something. The Logan brothers are forced to be reckoned with, and I can't wait to see when the Logan brothers and the Samoans hook up. I think in the entire nation they're forced to be to be reckoned with. Absolutely. Tommy, we're gonna we're gonna recap when we get back, but ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, we've got some comments from a newcomer here on NWA on Fire, the little letterman. So let's see what he has to say, and we'll be back after these messages. Letterman here again. The NWA has forced me to come up here on my Christmas vacation. I'm trying to enjoy my time off from school. Finals are over, papers are done, bills are finally paid off, but the problem is I got no money. So I call up these losers at the NWA and I say, listen, I need money. They tell me, you go up to Maine. So here I am on this godforsaken journey into this god-awful town with people here that look like I can't tell you know, <laughs> if they're incest or they're, or they're just, they're retarded. And I look at half the people in the locker room, <laughs> they pretty much look the same way. But the fact is, is that the little man needs money. I got girls to meet, I got bills to pay, and I gotta live. <sighs> so here I am in some stupid town, in some stupid state with some stupid people trying to get this god-awful paper for my bank account. <sighs> Why am I here? NWA on fire, on tour in April. Monday night, April 20th, Masson Community Center in Springvale, Maine. And on Tuesday, April 21st, Rockland, Maine at the Rockland Recreation Center. Wednesday, April 22nd, Scohegan, Maine at the Central Maine Fun Center and Banquet Hall. And on August 25th, Augusta Armory. Be there! For sure. It's not going to hurt these guys' pocketbooks any because they're on a guarantee from Akbar. So the only way to hurt them is physically. Here's what I'm talking about Gary Young. Did you see that? The headlock goes right into a belly to back suplex, Mark. Good, basic amateur wrestling. This is gorgeous, Gary. So unpredictable. They just fit the mold. They just fit the mold of devastation. And General Skandar Akbar's great mind, through my managerial genius, have risen. I have all the top stars, and they always do well because they've got to go for him in devastation. I'm so great, I can't stand it. You know, he's a believer in the old adage, he who tooteth not his own horn remaineth in a state of untootethness. Oh, this man's got no problem with being untooted because he sure does toot his own horn. And you heard it from Frank Nusik, ladies and gentlemen. Frank Disick, the one who uttered those words, please do not associate that with me. <laughs> hey, you lighten up on that. My mother used to use that statement. Manson in the ring, or the unpredictable individual, as we've talked about, Mark. He, uh, he attacks you from all sides. Uh, very much in the vein of uh, Kamala and Beast from the standpoint of being unorthodox. Of course, I think more intelligent than Kamala.